So there has been a lot of major advances in the automotive technology. Just between the three cars sitting here right now, they're massively better than they used to be or any kind of cars that existed in the past. So basically, if you compare this ZR1 to a Corvette from the 80s, this thing is better in pretty much every single way as far as technology is concerned. But there's one spot where the automotive industry just has not improved over the last 20 to 30 years, and we're gonna talk about it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Like I said there in the beginning, we're gonna be talking about and improving on something here in the car that has been unchanged for a long period of time so let's jump right into it All right, guys, so we're gonna be talking mostly about the Corvette today because this is a part that will be changed out on my Corvette by the end of this video. So by now, I'm sure you guys are all wondering, what am I talking about? What is this new mod? Well, it's the battery. So my car now is about three years old, and even though the stock battery is still working well, I know it's getting to the point where I don't know if I can rely on it as much as I could from day one. So I had a company reach out to me. You guys have probably heard of them. They are called anti-gravity batteries. We're gonna talk a little bit about why this is something you may wanna consider for your car. And here it is, guys. So basically, this is what you're gonna want if you have a C7 Corvette, the H6 Group 48. This is the one with the highest cold cranking amps or kilowatt hours, I think is the way they measure it. And the battery is really interesting the way it comes packaged because it comes with two key fobs. So you're not overly used to opening up a battery and having key fobs in there, I know, but there's a reason for it. We're gonna talk about it, and it's one of the biggest pros of this battery. Capacity is 60 amp hours, cold cranking amps, 1800. That's freaking impressive. Basically, it's gonna be a better replacement for your typical lead acid battery. Before we get into the install, guys, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons here. So I'll, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a Cliff's Notes here in the very beginning, though. There's really only one con and a whole bunch of pros. So let's talk about the pros. The first one is the shelf life of this. So once this has a full charge, the amount of time it can sit without being charged and without dis discharging fully is a lot longer than your typical lead acid battery that you have in your car. That means no more trickle chargers over the winter time, which is perfect for the Corvette guys. The second big advantage or pro to the anti-gravity batteries is the weight. The weight of this thing is far less than the stock unit, and we're gonna weigh it here in a second so you guys can see it in person, how much less this thing weighs. Another pro is the fact that these are very low maintenance. So like I said earlier, it doesn't need that trickle charger, but it also doesn't have the need for any kind of water or anything like that to be added. Now, I know a lot of you out there are probably not doing that with your Corvette batteries anyway, but some lead acid batteries need to have a little bit of water added from time to time this is nothing you would ever have to do with this literally this battery never needs to be touched after it's installed but the big one here guys is obviously the weight so even the name suggests anti-gravity batteries that we're going to have a pretty low weight and that matters a lot whenever you're talking about a performance car it's a really really neat idea i really like just the look of the battery it even has a handle for any of you out there who have changed the battery in a c7 you'll know <laughs> you need that but uh yeah the the key fob idea comes with two so i'll leave one in the car and another one in my garage somewhere just so i have it outside of the car in order to get be able to get into it if this shuts off during the winter time but like i said guys this thing will sit for a lot longer without losing its charge so trickle chargers are a thing of the past let's go ahead and get this thing installed and in the process we're going to also weigh it all right so the second step is to obviously come to the trunk of the zr1 we're going to go ahead and open it up and for those of you who don't know the zr1 battery is located back here so for me i have to remove the block it which is a fantastic piece of engineering that helps keep some of the road noise out and then we'll get under that carpet there to get to the battery so right here guys is where your battery is going to be and then right there obviously you would have a tow hook right there that's just a piece of styrofoam you can lift that up and out and underneath that is the battery so there's the stock battery as you can see it's going to be tight to get that out so first step we're going to go ahead and remove the brace that holds the battery in it's a 10 millimeter nut and then the one on the other side as well. So with the two nuts out, the next step is going to be to remove this cover here so we can access the positive terminal. So we have the negative terminal off. What you're going to want to do first is loosen this red bolt right here. Once that's loose, we can then loosen the actual positive terminal. Once that's loose, we can then stick a screwdriver right down in this blank hole right there, and it will actually allow us to unclip the entire top part of the battery where all the fuses are located and pop that out of the way to get the battery out. Oh, wait. 
to get it. Yep, now that is totally loose. Just move that out of the way, and then we are ready to move the new battery in. And lastly, guys, this is another one of the drawbacks of the stock battery is we have a vent tube right here. That needs to be removed as well before the battery comes out. And that will not need to be put back in for the new one. To make getting the battery out a little bit easier, removing this interior trim piece helps a good bit to allow the carpet to be pulled back far enough to get to that battery. So yeah, if you wanna do this, it'll make your life a little easier. All right, so removing the battery, as you guys may or may not know, was not fun. We ended up unbolting the ground wire from right there as well to give us as much room as possible. Now I know there is a special like carrier tool thing you can get from Advanced Auto, I've been told, that will help you get it out of there. But honestly, once that was disconnected, we were able to actually turn the battery up and grab it and deadlift it out. So this is the stock battery. Like I said, I got about a little over three years on that. It's probably still okay, but I know with regular battery technology, it's nearing the end of its life. So you usually get between three and five years out of lead acid. And that's another benefit of the anti-gravity lithium battery is they are more like 10 years. So you're gonna gain a lot of longevity with the lithium and a lot less maintenance. So let's weigh this thing. All right, so we have confirmed 17.2 pounds for the anti-gravity battery. So let's go ahead and see what the stock one weighs now. And the stock battery, 38.7. So that's what, 21 pounds? 21 pound difference between the stock battery and the anti-gravity battery. Now, the big thing here to remember is obviously weight difference. You're also getting three to five years out of lead acid and about 10 years out of the lithium. You're also getting that jump pack ability. So you can literally press a button and have that battery turn back on. Whereas this one has to be kept on a battery tender all winter. And I don't know, that one just, there's something about the technology in this one, even though I don't need the higher cranking amps, they're there. And I like that, I like that idea. So yeah, longevity and lightweight. Oh, wow, yeah, so the cold cranking amps on this thing, astonishingly low, 565. I would have thought they were at least a thousand. Wow, 70 amp hours. Looks like this is probably the manufactured date, maybe. That's interesting. 565 cold cranking amps. With the anti-gravity one, we're getting 1800. So significantly more in a lighter weight package and a more techie style package because of that jump. Now, this button right here, if you have access to the battery, this is your jump button. So if the battery was shut off, you would push that button there and then your car would be able to start after winter. Or of course, the key fobs will do the same thing if you don't have access to it because like cars like this, I'm not going to. Obviously a huge difference in weight, a difference in technology, a difference in cold cranking amps. The pros are all here for the anti-gravity. And I know by now you guys are asking me, well, Justin, you said there was a con, what is it? This is kind of pricey. We'll talk about price in a little bit, but for the time being, that is literally the only con that I can see here. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed and see how it works in the car. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics. Okay, so the anti-gravity battery is in. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the positive and negative terminals and put everything back the exact way it was. The battery shaped exactly the same as the stock battery. So everything should line up and bolt right up just like it was. All right, so first start since the new battery was put in. First off, I'm going to need to re-index the windows because they go down and not back up now. Let's see what we got. Okay, so it actually did start a little bit quicker than it usually does but nothing ma major here on a normal daily basis you're not really going to notice the difference other than the fact that it weighs a little less it's going to last longer has those extra cold cranking amps if you need it but yeah guys i'm pretty impressed let's talk about the specifics so it has been about a month since i put the battery in my car and just like everything i do on the channel i don't like to put out a video before i've actually done some testing of it so i wanted to give about a month worth of my findings before coming back here and saying hey this thing is totally worth it but in my month of use and kind of reviewing i have noticed it is worth it. Let's talk about why. So right off the bat, guys, you can see I'm at the antigravitybatteries.com website, and we're going to go over some of their pros and cons here on the site as well. There is only one con to this particular battery, and I know I keep saying it, I promise I'm going to talk about it in a second, but we're going to go over everything again, just as a recap to really talk about why I think this battery is worth it. The very first options we have here is either lithium batteries, micro starts, or energy storage. 
range, of course, we're going to go with the lithium batteries. This is for our automotive use and even motorcycle use. Now in here, you can actually go to their battery finder and put in the kind of car that you have. Of course, most of you watching have Corvettes of some kind. And in this case, mine is a C7, but it, they do offer them for C5, C6, C7s up to the C8. Now, right off the bat, you're going to be able to see the only con to this battery, and that is right down below, it is the price. So we're going to talk about why this is a con, but also why it's not really that big of a deal, because if we go ahead and select the battery here, you can actually choose the amp hours option. Now, mine, the one that they sent me, is the 60 amp hour, which of course gives you the 1800 cold cranking amps you can actually see that right up here right underneath the battery descriptions you have the option of 24 amp hours which is a thousand cold cranking amps then you also have 30 amp hours which is 1200 cranking amps 40 amp hours 1500 cranking amps and then ultimately the 60 that's 1800 cranking amps now the thing about this is even at its lowest form the 24 amp hour which will cost you 659 dollars which is a lot for a battery, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. At 24 amp hours, you are still at 1,000 cranking amps, which is still almost double what the stock battery offers. When you guys were watching the video earlier, when we were pulling that battery out of the car, you could see the stock cranking amps on it is 550. So at 24 amp hours, you are still almost double the power of the stock battery. And I have noticed it. I have noticed the difference. Now mine is obviously the 1800 cranking amps, but I feel like it would likely be the exact same with even the 24 amp hour battery at 1000 cranking amps because it's still almost double the power. The second I push that start button on my car, I notice the car starts faster. Now, typically lead acids, like I said before, are between three and five years. Sometimes you'll get less, sometimes you'll get more with the anti-gravity batteries you're talking about closer to 10 to 12 so it's double the lifespan so right off the bat if we were to go and buy a new battery for the c7 corvette you would actually have to buy two by the time that the anti-gravity would die so even though the 659 dollar price tag is pretty high it's not that bad when you think about it split in half now, of course, on top of that, you still have your other benefits like the lighter weight option here, the fact that it does have that jump start capability, or the better way to really describe what that jump start is, is more of a wake option. So if the battery sits for too long and the voltage drops below a certain point, the battery will go to sleep. You press that button and it will wake it back up. So it's not necessarily advertised as a replacement for a battery tender but depending on how long you let your corvette sit it could be used as such if we scroll down a little bit further on the website it goes over the key benefits the restart technology or what i keep referring to as kind of the waking up of the battery full battery management basically no maintenance of any kind like that and all of the overcharge and short circuit protections that are built in the exact drop-in fitment which of course is going to fit your specific car as long as it's within those years like i said c5 c6 c7 and c8 the performance benefits are going to be the lightweight of the battery and the power, of course. It has a very high cranking power, and we have noticed that already in the C7 Corvette. If we scroll down the page a little bit further, we, we're hit with another features and benefits section, but the big one here is the low self-discharge. So the fact that the battery does not discharge itself like a lead-acid battery does, so it does offer longer storage time provided that there are not serious parasitic drains on your battery in your car but basically for most of us just storing our corvettes this thing is not going to drain the way your typical lead acid battery does just by sitting so again the use of a battery tender may not be necessary so what we have here is the advanced auto parts website this is where i typically would go for a new battery something like this or walmart or you know whatever you can get your favorite battery brand from the reason i come here is because there is a decent cost to these things nowadays so there, we're not really talking about a battery that's only 50 dollars anymore like it used to be way back in the day things have gone up in price so right off the bat if you want a decent battery with decent cranking amps you're going to pay for it and it's not that much less than what you're going to pay for the anti-gravity battery whenever you consider the lifespan what we're looking at here is the diehard platinum agm battery it is with the core charge of course a 253 dollar battery now advanced auto parts offers coupons on a regular basis but as you can see right below that battery these are excluded from any kind of discounts 
except for, of course, your speed perks, if you have those. But basically what that comes down to is you're more than likely paying $253.99 for this battery. After taxes, you're at close to 270 bucks. So let's just run with $270 times two, of course, is going to put you at $540. So like I said, the lithium batteries will last about twice as long as your typical lead acid. So you're at $540 versus 669 or we'll say $680, $690 for the lithium battery. So the difference in cost is at that point, not as high. Right off the bat, we're closer to $150 difference between the two with all of the benefits you're getting from the anti-gravity battery, like the lighter weight, the maintenance-free stuff, the much higher quality look to it, even the feel, the fact that you're not really going to need the battery tender if you're only storing it during the winter time, that sort of thing. So at the end of the day, there is a price difference. The price is the biggest con still, but it's not as big as you would think once you start looking at the prices of batteries nowadays. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to mention this to you guys real quick because it is something I've been looking at since I bought my ZR1 and I just recently was able to get a hold of them and work out a deal where we could test out this battery for you on the channel. I really appreciate anti-gravity batteries hooking us up with the battery. They are definitely helping out the Corvette and the automotive industry in general with making sure that we can have our access to these things for testing purposes. Now, I am going to continue to test this, guys, especially after winter time. I'm going to follow up and make another video to make sure that this thing is continuously performing the way it should. Because for the price, we want to make sure this thing is going to be rock solid. But in my month-long review so far, it has been very solid, and I would highly recommend this. Full disclosure, Anti-Gravity did send me the battery for free, but they have not paid me or swayed my review in any way, shape, or form. So you are getting my 100% biased review of this particular battery anyway guys if you liked what you saw please smash that thumbs up button let me know you're liking the content so we can keep creating this kind of stuff for you if you have any questions about the anti-gravity battery leave them in the comment section down below and i'll definitely get you an answer if you haven't subscribed yet please do i'm gonna have loads of content like this coming you're not gonna want to miss and as always guys i will catch you in the next upload